again for digital reviews. Today we've got the Dark Rock 4 from Be Quiet. So I want to say a big thank you to Be Quiet and to Technic PR for sending this over to me for review. Big thumbs up for that, thank you. Um, so basically what we're going to do with this video today is we're going to show you an unboxing, see what you actually get in the box, and then we're going to show you an installation, and then we're going to go into the test results and show what temperatures this actually performs at for different uh, various scenarios. Um, this cooler is an air cooler, obviously and it's in uh, Be Quiet's high-end range, so I'm expecting big things from this. So uh, again, guys, if you if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, give this video a like if you like it, and leave any comments in, in the uh, comments section below. Also, I'll be leaving links uh, down below for where you can buy the different coolers that are being used within this video. Cheers, guys. So this is the Dark Rock 4 from Be Quiet, as you can see a nice big box, comes with a picture on the front and if we just have a look quick round the box, normal standard technical information there uh, and then we've got on the back uh, a few various pictures of what, uh, how it performs and how it's designed, that kind of thing and if we look on the side here we can see 200 watt TDP, so that's the rating for this for its uh, capacity uh, so let's have a look what's inside as you can see, first thing we see is the be quiet uh, silent wings fan that comes with it. Nice big 135mm uh, fan to go on there. So that comes with that with a PWM lead at the end. So that's that bit. Pull this out here. This will be uh, so you've got instruction manual in here, loads and loads of information in there that you might need to install it. And then in here we've got our various fittings. So let's we'll have a look through what we've got in here. Uh, these are your clips to put your fans on. Uh, I believe there's an extra clip in there to put extra fan, an extra fan on there if you want to. And then this is your bag of uh, fittings for whichever processor you're going to use. Um, as, you can see, oops, as you can see here, uh, we've got the Intel bracket there with all the fittings in there and we've also got the AMD. Uh, which will fit AM4 sockets as well uh, and then we also come with a little tube of thermal paste to, uh, to add to this but in this uh, video I'm going to be using uh, Arctix MX4 paste across all the different coolers I'm going to use um, just to give a uh, fair test across the board and then we've got the cooler itself so let's pull this out and put this box away it's nicely packaged, really well packaged so it's not going to get damaged and this is huge, as you can probably see. This is a big old cooler. Uh, lots of fins in there. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six heat pipes run through, running through there. Uh, I believe when you compare this to the likes of Noxia, I think they have an extra pipe, but we'll see in the testing um, how that performs. And as you cold plate at the bottom there, it'll make contact with your processor. Uh, heat spreader, uh, nice symbol on there. It's a really nice, uh, stylish design. This one actually really, it looks really good. So look at it, especially if you've got a uh, all black build. It look really good inside there. So that was the Dark Rock 4 from Be Quiet and 
I'm honestly, even though I was expecting good things from Be Quiet, I'm actually really, really impressed with this cooler. Um, as you can see from my tests, uh, obviously your mileage will vary depending on the cooling configuration within your case. Um, but it performed amazingly well, to be honest. Um, it actually outperformed or matched, pretty much outperformed across the board, my uh, Arctic Liquid Freezer 240. Um, it's not the new one, it's the old one that I've got. Um, but I use that. I've been using that for a while, uh, and it actually outperformed that. So I think I'm going to stick with the Be Quiet for now. Um, let's beat the Arctic Freezer Air Cooler, which is an older one again, um, but that still performed quite well. And then obviously the Intel stocks was a joke. Um, I even on the testing for that, I actually had to stop it partway through because I was uncomfortable with it running at 100 degrees for a lot of the time. Um, so I cancelled the, the test on that. But you can see from the results, it doesn't perform well at all. Um, but the Dark Rock 4, absolutely brilliant. Um, go for a few pros and cons. Pros, massive cooler, uh, lots of heat pipes, lots of fins, nice big fan on the front. Real easy to install, although. Uh, the fan is quite fiddly to get on, but the rest of it's really easy. Um, other than that, there's not really a lot to, to say bad about it, to be honest. Um, it's a really nice looking cooler, as air coolers go. Obviously, there's no RGB, so that could have been uh, something that maybe they can add to a later one, but a lot of uh, Be Quiet stuff tends to be nice, uh, neutral colours, mainly black. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic cooler. Um, pretty much blew everything else out of the water that I had to test to be honest um, so yeah uh, well I hope you hope you enjoyed the video guys um, if you did like, as like I said give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you want to see more I should have more coming soon and uh, I'll see you soon cheers